What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video um, we are pretty much dealing with the 740 Li. Now this car I've owned for about six months now and it's probably been one of the only cars that I've had such a hard time passing smog. I think I spent at least $400 on just taking the smog, doing the free retest, buying a new smog, doing the free retest over and over and over. And it might sound strange to you guys, like, why well, don't know, you just make sure the car is ready for smog before you go smog. Well, the car is perfectly ready for smog. For example, I fix something, the car is ready for smog, then out of nowhere, when I pull up to the smog, they said I have a pending code. And this code, it's like, it's ready to be thrown, but it's not thrown yet, and that fails the smog. Cause they're like, well, if it's pending, it's gonna come up sooner or later, whether that's a misfire, whether that's a DMTL pump, whatever it may be is just a pending code that's going to eventually throw a check engine light or a service engine light. So yeah, oh, it's been a rough uh, six months, I would say, that we've been trying to get this car legal on the road, and uh, let's just say we did get it done in this video, super happy, but we had to fix something um, that, that just came up out of nowhere. So uh, I'll show you guys what we had to get replaced, and uh, thankfully that's what helped us pass smog. Um, you know, we didn't have this problem like six months ago, but we have it now, so let's take care of it. This might be the last day we see the 7 Series, guys. We have all the paperwork from all the repairs, over maybe seven dollars to $8,000 in repairs on this car. The pink slip, the smog, we have the keys right here, boys. Let's go ahead and sell this bad boy. And this part in the video, guys, pretty much the car is smogged. It's ready to be sold, and I really just couldn't wait to honestly put it up for sale. So I put it up for sale when I was at the gym. I was literally working out. Ooh. The car is filthy. I haven't even washed it yet. And I put it up for sale for 5,500 and uh, literally got 20 messages in the first like 30 minutes. I was at the gym and I had so many people hit me up. They're like, can I come meet you at the gym like right now? And I'm like, I'm kind of working out. The car is filthy. I haven't even washed it. It has an empty tank of gas. Like, I don't really know if I want anyone to come see this because it might steer them away. Plus, I worked too hard to perfect it to sell it hella dirty. One of the buyers were just very, very, very persistent. And he was like, I really want to come right now and see it as is, you know, nothing that you've actually, you know, tried clearing the codes or, you know, it's at your house and you did something. I want to come and see it raw at the you know at the gym and I was like you know that's a pretty smart idea yeah, I see what I see what you're trying to say right there he wanted to come through it's not like I took the car home cleared the lights got it prepped up for a buyer it's kind of like I want to see it that you're actually the car made it to the gym there's zero lights on the dash he wants to see that so I was like you know what yeah, comes through to the gym I told him let me know once you're out front I'll come outside I'll meet you up and yeah pretty much I ended up meeting up with the guy he was very understanding about the whole transmission thing which was a great thing because I was super 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 afraid that no one was gonna buy the car over that stupid transmission sensor but he he was like, no, I've heard of it. I mean, it, it is what it is, but the car still operates. My Mercedes has a similar issue, but it drives every single day. And ultimately, you know, you can get a car for a lot cheaper with that small little issue. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly why I'm selling it so cheap. There's a car for every buyer. And he's one of those kind of people that would rather save a couple grand up front with that stupid sensor that he knows is not going to actually result in any other issues. And the car is fully maintained. So he really wanted the car. I was like, you know what? Screw it. If you really want the car, I was like, what's your offer? He said five grand. Honestly, I spent somewhere on 6,500 all and all in the car five grand it is what it is we had an experience we had a good time with the car i know it's probably worth a little bit more than that but at the same time guys i'm just making room getting these builds out of the way so we can focus on the m5 and even future builds the m5 right now 
now is my ultimate priority and thankfully we've enjoyed the seven series but at this point we all know it is time it's time to move on so yes thank the lord it is officially sold and at this point of the video let me show you guys what me and my girl got to eat because we, we had to go celebrate Guys, those chicken sandwiches were bomb. It was so good. Their sauce and everything is amazing. Um, anyhow, my mouth is literally watering. Uh, we ate that like a couple days ago, but oh my God, it was so good. But anyhow, guys, yeah, that is it. I know today's video is kind of short, but I'm just trying to catch you guys up. Even the last video was kind of short. I'm just trying to catch you guys up with my current life right now, and which is only, you guys are only about five days behind. Uh, the next video, you guys will be fully pretty much updated, and uh, we'll be on track to start working on the M5. But yeah, basically today's video, and there's one more video in the next video that will keep you guys pretty much updated with everything that I've done uh, throughout the weeks that I was off of YouTube but yeah thankfully the 7 series is gone the 335 is gone we are working on the 135 right now and the M5 let me know down below guys what kind of track car you guys want to see on this channel a lot of you guys have been saying I nor you promise a track car and I was like yeah no I know I I'm working on I'm working on nor you promise us a track car the M4 was gonna be your track car I mean I love the M4 I didn't really think it was gonna be a track car but like I, I, I did love the car and I had a lot of plans for it. what about the 135 build you said you said you were gonna fully modify and take it on the track and enjoy it yeah but you know things ended up happening in life and you know just new plans arise and you know financial situations i don't care about your situations nor we need the track bill okay 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 you know what you know what um for sure okay so just let me know what kind of builds you guys want to see and then uh, i'll go ahead and try to do some research to try to figure out which one's the best one for track use so yeah just comment down below and you know let's just get to it let's get to it that's what we thought no that's what we thought all right all right <laughs> And you, I bet you anybody that's actually looking at me right now and I'm in the truck right now and they're like, what is this dude doing to himself inside the car? <laughs> I always wonder every single time that I film in the car anywhere out in public, like, is this person like, this is Sacramento, this is in LA and people don't normally film videos out here, but I mean, it is what it is. And that's because I love you guys so much and I love what I do and I am thankful for the opportunity. Without further ado though, that pretty much concludes the video guys. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.